Sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to visit an airport, besides just wanting to visit a new field, and today that field is Hollister Municipal Airport. One thing about us is we like to fly to visit new places, which is the reason why we always encourage you guys to go fly and discover, because you never know what kind of experiences and memories an airport can make. Now, I won't lie and say they're all exciting, but we always look to find something great about each airport. We decided to visit Hollister on our way back down from Hayward Airport in Northern California. And it really was a last minute decision. We weren't rushing to get home, so we figured why not go? It's nestled in a valley just 40 miles east of Monterey off the central coast. And it originally started as a grass strip back in 1912. And of course, during World War II, it was called the Navy Air Auxiliary Station Hollister. And it was eventually returned back to the city in 1947. It is an untowered airport with two runways, 0624 at 3,149 by 100 feet and 1331 at 6,350 by 100 feet. And with runways nearly perpendicular, it lets you know the winds can change in all directions. And since it is also inland, can get pretty hot in the summers, which on this day was about 90 degrees. Instrument departures though are not authorized for runways 0624. And on this day, there was a notum that had closed 1331 and a private jet had to call the airport manager to remove the notum so he could take off on 31. Another thing to note is that CAL FIRE's Hollister Air Attack Base is located here, and they respond to wildfires in the San Benito County, which includes Monterey. Besides GA and CAL FIRE traffic, there's also glider traffic, which we didn't see any of on this visit, but they are known to get busy, and it's kind of a big deal here because a record for glider flight distance from Hollister was set on June 21st, 2008 by Eric Rupp with a flight to Calexico on the Mexican border, which is 444 miles away. Hollister traffic, Falcon 874 Victor Tango taking runway 31 straight out. To this day, it still blows my mind that we share the same runways with jets like that. Now seeing what kind of traffic can depart on 3-1 and with this airport being untowered, it is so important to report before you cross any runways. Officer Traffic Arrow, 3-9 Hotel, crossing 3-1 at Charlie, Hollister. Traffic, Arrow 39 Hotel, clear of 31 at Chartley, Hollister. So you guys might be wondering, for airports that don't explicitly show where transient parking is, how do we find parking at a new airport? Well, to be honest, we make an educated guess. We think maybe it'll be next to the fuel pumps. We read comments on Fort Flight, and sometimes we even call the airport manager. But even with all that, we still get it wrong sometimes. We figure it out after we get out and walk around. We literally parked on a school's transient parking in Gillespie Field in San Diego. With the owner was so cool and understanding, he just let us stay. So yeah, as you guys have seen in other videos, we don't always get it right. We just hope the videos help you guys not having to worry about getting it wrong.
The self-service field island is located nearly front and center. You can't miss it right next to transient parking. And speaking of transient parking, they are marked in green, which you can't miss since they are right next to both the fuel island and the compass rows. All spots have tie down loops, but only some spots have chains. So as always, just bring your own straps. If you're going to spend the night and looking for a little more full service, they do have an FBO. Hollister Jet Center, which seems to have gotten great reviews on ForeFlight. And as far as transportation, they don't have courtesy cars, but you can get a rental through them. It's always nice when an airport has a cafe to fuel up at. And this one is located directly across the street, so you do have to exit the airport. So make sure you write down the code posted on the exit gate. Alright, so in summary, only one runway 1331 can be used for IFR operations. There's plenty of transient parking spots. Restaurant is across the street right outside the airport pedestrian gate. And there are no courtesy cars, but car rentals are available through the FBO. Hollister is an agricultural area. So there wasn't much within walking distance, but if you're like us and travel a lot between Northern and Southern California, it makes a great quick fuel and food stop, if only to stretch your legs. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any suggestions of activities, maybe that we didn't know of to do at Hollister, please let us know in the comments. And we'll see you guys next week. But until then, make sure you go fly, go discover.